Welcome to San Joaquin Spotlight, a public affairs program featuring conversations about life in the central San Joaquin Valley. This program is brought to you in partnership between KFSR 90.7 FM and CMAC Fresno. I'm your host, Sevog Tatiosian. Today we are going to be talking about 90.7 FM, KFSR Fresno. Yes, the radio station that broadcasts out of Fresno State, but it's not only a Fresno State radio station. Here's Mike, St Mike Stevens, the station manager. How you doing? I'm doing great, Mike. I almost called your last name Station instead you of could, Mike Stevens. You could. You could call me Jeff. <laughs> Some people have. Jeff. <laughs> so KFSR, tell us a little bit about this state studio the anomaly that is kfsr well you know you've been there quite some time too you know so we go back and forth you know exchanging stories on you know what it means to us right um it's a it's a great secret in yes. radio it really really is and it's been around for what 40 years when it was the, like a closed carrier just to the dorms and now it's um it's still not up at full capacity as far as like wattage is concerned but the secret is, is that we're at Fresno State, been at Fresno State all this time. Um, we're licensed by the university. And um, we're at a lower power. We could actually get a higher power, which would be kind of neat. But um, yeah, man, we're the only jazz radio station in town. Uh, we can hang our hat on that. We also do a ton of blues on the weekends. But, you know, so. before we get too far now, yeah. this show broadcasts on mm -hmm. KFSR. And yeah. when I tell people that, they say, oh, so only the college can hear you. But that's not true because I've been yeah. driving east to the mountains and I hear us. So yeah. tell us a little bit about how far our reach is. Okay, the coverage is, is Fresno metro area, right? So it's Fresno Clovis metro. Um, if, you, if you go up to the mountains like, say, Shaver, clear as day um, because it's the higher point. And I've got, we've got another disc jockey who, uh, who Jeff Parker who uh, does the uh, jazz show on, uh, I think it's like Thursdays. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, sorry. On <laughs> Tuesdays, and um, he's got a cabin up in the mountains and he can get as clear as day. So it's a directional type of thing. You know, if you're going along the valley, like the valley proper, let's say, you, it's gonna depreciate only because you have more signals that'll interfere with it. But yeah, we reach a long way. And this show, San Joaquin Spotlight, mm -hmm. has been on since 2006. So, I mean, there has been, there are shows with a lot of history on that station. Yeah, like uh, you were on the, uh, like the Hayush show. Hayush has been on the air for a long time as well. Since uh, the early 90s. So. so why would people want to listen to KFSR? I mean, when you're out there and you say, hey, I'm the station manager of 90.7 FM, KFSR Fresno, wh why would, if I asked you, why should I listen to you, what would your answer be? We're the radio station that's doing something no other radio station does. Um, I come from a background of commercial radio and um, program director, uh, Julie Logan. Um, I think combined, we're really old if we combine the two. So we've got the management of commercial radio behind something that's a nonprofit. So we're just making it a different avenue source for listenership. Radio, I mean, you and... Julie Logan, who mm. you just mentioned, you've been in radio for a very long time. Yeah. This industry is changing, or, or are, we, are we done seeing changes in this industry? Um, you know what? I think what's going to happen, the biggest change is people are going to be coming back to radio, right? So that's where we come in, because we've got unique programming that nobody else is doing, um, and we don't have the clutter of all the commercials as well. Uh, we do have, you know, um, announcements, messages for nonprofits, underwriting messages, but we're nowhere close to sounding like a commercial radio station. So to answer the question of what will people find at the radio station is a unique blend of passionate DJs who really know their m music and craft. Now, people ask me all the time, oh, wow, you know, you must be getting paid big bucks to do radio and TV and then work full time, but actually... I'm a volunteer. Aren't most DJs or all DJs volunteer? Every DJ we have is a volunteer, every single one of them. Um, you know, to drop a name, we got Vern Selland on the air. That brother knows his jazz like no tomorrow, <laughs> right? And you know the guy. Yeah. Um, 
he, uh, you know, he comes in twice a week, um, plays, plays everything he loves, right? And that's the cool thing, too, because the volunteers are playing the music they're passionate about. Speaking of passion, I'm gonna go. You went to an area that I'm going at next, which I'm glad you did. So you kind of led me on to that one. But sometimes people will say, if it's a nonprofit, mm -hmm. if DJs are volunteer, they're not gonna show up. It's not gonna be like, you know, very organized like the radio stations out there that we hear. Mm -hmm. Is there any truth to that? No, no. It's um, these guys are on time. They show up just like commercial radio stations. Most jocks show up between 10 and 15 minutes before. And that's what these guys do. I mean, we've got some, uh, we've got two that come in on Tuesday morning. They show up at like a half an hour before, prepping their music and everything. So we never have to worry about anybody just strolling in, you know, at the very top of the hour, clicking on microphones, you know, being disheveled. You know, you're not going to have it. And we've come a long way. Now, I, you know, I've been a part of KFSR now since... 1999, believe it or not, wow. so it's been a, quite a long time. We have some equipment now that's incredible. I mean, would you say we're, we're competitive with some of the, the for-profit studios out there? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, last year, uh, we had a donor that said, hey, what do you need to make this place top-notch? So I uh, took the engineer's advice. And we all sat down and we wanted to make some studios that we would be proud of. And then if people came in, they'd also, like industry people, would notice that, yeah, this is, this is a legit studio. So we came in and uh, did all the work ourselves. I was down there, you know, 80 hours a week, you know, slaving away <laughs> at about, you know, what was it, about two months to help everybody out. And I would say, yeah, we're top, we got top-notch quality equipment all the way down the line. So, I mean, I know that on weekends you've got, you know, Hayuj, which mm -hmm. is the Armenian program, but jazz and blues, I mean, you know, there are a lot of people in this community that then when they're looking for jazz mm -hmm. and they're looking for blues, they're going to put on 90.7. Would you say that's the strong point? Absolutely. I mean, we're the only jazz station in Fresno. Um, I think there's another jazz station in the Valley. I think it's Bakersfield. You know, I could be wrong. But for uh, Fresno Clovis, we are your jazz station. We play standard, straight ahead jazz, standard jazz, right? We're not playing, you know, you know you're not going to hear a lot of Kenny G, right? You're not going to hear the smooth stuff. <laughs> now and then you'll hear some, right? But, uh, yeah, we play the straight jazz and then for blues. Come on, man. We got Don Priest, right? Mr. C. Mack himself, right? He's our uh, blues music director. And this guy's, like, bringing in fresh blues every week, you know? So, and on the weekends, that's where you go. You know, when I listen to KFSR in the weekdays, mm -hmm. for some reason, I'm always thinking New Orleans, yeah. in a club, listening to a band that's rocking away. Am I right? I mean, am I correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get everything. We got uh, the Southern Gentleman on Friday mornings, you know, Red Beans and Jazz. And he's taking you back to Louisiana. Right, he's going, you're going to New Orleans, man. And that's the, that's the cool thing about the, going back to the passion. That's the people that we have there. They've got, they're bringing their slant on how they're going to run the music and run the show, right? So, yeah, you'll get like, you know, you'll be transplanted in these different places. And then if you listen to, uh, you know, Don's show, come yeah. on, man. He, man, he'll throw in the blues. He'll get some Zydeco on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you have public affairs. You've got San Joaquin Spotlight, but you've got yeah. First Lady Focus. Talk about that. That's pretty huge. Um, we're pretty excited about that. That was uh, Julie Logan's uh, brainchild. You know, give her all the credit on that one, man. And she said, we've got the First Lady. Um, you know, why not uh, ask her to do like a show? And uh, she hit her up. And it's probably the most popular, one of the most popular shows we have right now. Next year's, of course. No, I don't well, know about all that. Quick and popular you are. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, she interviews, you know, some of the best people out of Fresno State. And uh, it's the backstories of the professors and the staff that's there. And she's a natural. It's fantastic. She's an amazing lady. Yeah, I'm a fan of that show. And, you yeah. know, you mentioned backstories of professors. I mean, there's so much content there. I mean, People have, some, have done some marvelous things at Fresno State. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. 
But do you find yourself in that situation where people think, oh, you're only on Fresno State campus or you're only a student station? And then mm -hmm. what do you tell them to say, no, actually, you know, look at all this blues and jazz we're doing. Yeah. We're, we're a professional radio station. There's no getting around it. Um, quality um, all the way up and down the board. And we, it used to be student ran. When I went to college there, you know, got my degree, um, I went through the RTV, you know, program, and it was completely student ran, you know. I started off being a sports reporter, believe it or not, you know, running around with a little tape recorder. And um, back then, yes, but now, um, do, do we still have student involvement? Yes. But we are a professionally run radio station, absolutely. And, you know, people say, you know, like you said, it's just for Fresno State or it slants more toward Fresno State. I think we slant more to the higher demo, to tell you the truth. Um, and I think that comes from the quality of the people we have on the air, too. You have a very important thing coming up. It's critical to operations, your fund drive. And, mm -hmm. you know, when people listen to KFSR, which I listen to, the fund drive comes on and, you know, you're asking for donations. Mm -hmm. Talk about the fund drive and how important it is. Well, we get most of our uh, operating budget from the pledge drives. Uh, we have two a year. Uh, it runs two weeks. And we normally have concerts, you know, at the beginning and the end of it. But the pledge drives are what motor the station financially. Um, without the donors, without people giving generously, we wouldn't operate. Um, it takes money to, you know, to, uh, you know, pay for the equipment, keep the lights on. Um, you know, we have meager, meager salaries. Everybody has part-time jobs, right, outside of it, too. So nobody's getting rich, right? So we're not taking the money and, you know, being all, you yeah. know, hey, you know, 80% goes to this, yeah, right? And it's yeah. kind of like, well, no, you know, the money, the majority of the money is going straight into the radio station for upkeep and all that, so it's incredibly important that we need to expand, you know, our donor base, and thank you for bringing us in here, you know, to, so we could talk about that. Um, very, very important. And it's cool, too, because we're gonna have the, um, on the 18th of October, we're gonna have the uh, Big Fresno Barn Dance is gonna sponsor the <laughs> Grand Opry, right? Yeah. And it's a traditional country show, man. I mean, I wanna see you out there in some chaps. I'm in, I think let's do big. it. Some boots. I'm in, I'm in, let's and, do it. Uh, we're going to have Roger Perry and the MoFo Party Band's actually going to headline. <laughs> um, we were going to have uh, one of the members come in and talk about it, but he's like, man, i got to dust off some country music, man. And uh, so it's straight country music, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, talk a little bit about, you know, the website. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if I wanted to know what's playing right now on KFSR, could I do it? Not yet. Huh? We're still working on that. Thanks for throwing me in. <laughs> Thanks for throwing me a bone, buddy. No, uh, we're working on that. Um, the software we have can do that, but we have to make sure that on the back end that it can actually do it properly because I don't want to throw it up there and it's always kicking out. And I'd rather have somebody call the radio station and ask because we can do that and then we can let you know it's playing as opposed to having something break down. But, so it's coming. But I'm talking about the shows as well. Mm -hmm. Like if... If oh. right now I want to know what genre of music is being played, sure, I can check out the schedule. Yeah, kfsr.org. Uh, you can go to the schedule. It has everything laid out, exactly who has their shift where, what you can get from it. Um, so not a problem. Back to the donation, if you want to donate money, uh, there's a donate button right there. Super secure. We use a company called Vendini. Uh, they just ramped up their security, so there's no problem there. And people get cool, cool gifts. I mean, I remember... A couple of people donated to KFSR. One person got a cup or something like that. It's a cool cup too. I mean, <laughs> it's a very, it's a very incredibly cool cup. Um, but there's, I mean, a little bit of uh, gift there too. For sure, people. you know, it's uh, you know we like to give the donors a gift. You know, uh, we'll give you a coffee cup. Uh, we'll also, if you go fifty bucks, we'll give you a coffee cup. Hundred dollars, we'll give you like uh, your choice of a shirt, the cool Chihuahua shirt and the coffee cup. And then if you go a little bit higher, then we'll actually, you know, throw in you know, some mentions on air, like 200 and above, I believe. Speaking of mentions, mm -hmm. if there's a business listening or there's somebody who wants to do some underwriting, mm -hmm. how does that work? They get a hold of me and... Um, Sounds very easy. It's super easy. It's <laughs> kind of like, oh, I'd like to spend some money. Spend it here. Uh, since we're a nonprofit, um, it's tax write-off. Advertising is a tax write-off anyway. But if you go the extra mile, right, if you already, if this business is so huge, they're already 
doing advertising and if you feel a love for you know homegrown natural radio like we've got then they can just call me and uh, we'll set up a schedule for them and it's just that easy what anything coming up in the future of radio you think I mean some people think that you know it's all going to be online mm -hmm. and we're online at we're KFSR online. so uh, talk about are people listening from around the world? Absolutely. We've got some guys that are, I mean, around the world, man. <laughs> it's, it's insane. We've got a couple of jocks. Their big deal is if, uh, if that one program's not up so they can see who's listening to them around the world, they get a little, you know, a little flustered. So we've got to make sure that's up and running. But everybody, you know, has huge shows. Like we've got a gospel show on Sundays. That guy is up for a couple of awards, and he's got listeners all over the world. And uh, so we've got the streaming online. We're actually on TuneIn app. So if you've got a smartphone, tablet, go to TuneIn, type in KFSR, and we've got you on, uh, we've got you on the run, too. What's the quality like? I mean, some people think nonprofit, yeah. Fresno State campus, mm -hmm. this is not going to be your top quality radio signal or, or, or the volume sure. or the, you know, the quality I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a top-notch engineer man um, it will not happen there's no way we have we went in there last December and you remember the old studio. I remember the old studio well. It was a lovely rat's nest. <laughs> Very and, lovely. Uh, we spent two days ripping out any wire that wasn't connected or we didn't feel needed to be connected and just by cleaning all that up and just pretty much just dusting off that equipment, man, um, we've got a premium quality sound. Um, we got a new turntable. You know, you need to come on in yeah, there. Yeah. And I'm, I'm telling you, man, if you, if you play wax, right, with the signal we have right now, it sounds better than a CD. So, yeah. Where do towers, I mean, now, okay, so now we're going on a tangent. So oh, yeah. I'm taking you down a tangent, and all I right. apologize. But as you were talking, I had a question. And sure. I know the answer a little bit, but our audience may not know the answer. There's a tower somewhere that we have. Absolutely. How does that work? Um, it's a radio signal. <laughs> oh, it's not oh, a tower. <laughs> it's difficult. Um, no, <laughs> we've got a tower, and it's on the top of the theater building at Fresno State. Um, we're actually not as tall as we could, you know, for aesthetics reasons. You know, back in the day, you know, it had to pass all kinds of stuff where it had to look good on campus. Um, but yeah, our transmitter and tower are located at Fresno State, and it's meticulously maintained once a month by the engineer, and uh, yeah, I mean, top quality stuff. I think the new transmitter came in uh, eight years ago, so. Fascinating. I mean, for people who don't think about how radio operates, this is fascinating. You've got a tower on a building, sure. sends a signal, mm -hmm. then we can connect to that signal somehow. I mean, it's a genius thing. It's pretty cool, man. You know, Marconi got it right. I just got to tell you that. And, uh, I mean, it's... The reason why I got into radio back, the, back in the day, back in the, back in the 80s, man, was because I wanted to give something to the community. And I think everybody that is in radio, you touch the community. And that's, that's the joy of radio, really. Because we're the medium or the entertainment portion, right, that actually reaches out and does something for for a person. You can pick up a phone, you can call a jock, right? So you're talking to your friend who's going to play the music you like to listen to. So just with that interpersonal type of thing that goes on with radio, radio is really super cool. And then when you get into the technical part, right, you've got repeaters, you've got transmitters, you've got, you know, amplifiers. I can go on, right? But uh, it's pretty cool, man, yeah. So when is the pledge drive coming up? Pleasure Drive is going to be, our fall one's coming up. It's going to be October 3rd through the 18th. And um, that's, the, that's the big push right now, man, you know. And, I mean, individuals, you're, at, you're asking, what's the levels of funding? We had one guy call in and he said, I'm, I'm not joking, this was like maybe a year and a half ago. He said, you know what, man, I've been listening to your radio station and I'm in and out of a homeless shelter and I'm gonna come by, I'm gonna drop off some money. And it's kinda of like, you know, you do that, man, I will clothe you, right? And that, that gentleman came down and he gave us five bucks, right? Wow. And, and he didn't need to do that. So it's kinda of like, we're touching this gentleman, you know, to move him to give us the, 
you know, the funding. And uh, I mean, we'll take we'll take change all the way up to uh, as much as as much as you feel comfortable with doing. Yeah. Well, how do you define success? I mean, success in the commercial radio might be making money, mm -hmm. listeners, mm -hmm. all that stuff. But do you have kind of the same success definition? Only because that's where I come from. Um, but if I'm going to be giving you a superior quality product, that's my success. Knowing that, you know, we're playing the best music, we're delivering it to you in the most professional way, that to me is successful. Now, sometimes in listening to radio, people complain that, oh, it's that same song over and over sure. again, over and over again. KFSR, does that happen? I mean, are, are we good at get, putting on new music or music that hasn't aired before? Yeah, that's funny you should mention that. Uh, Julie's been working on that tirelessly, her and Brian. Uh, Brian's the production director. He's now the evening eclectic music director. And they slave all day long. They're part-time, but they put in full-time hours, you know. Yes, and I, you know, I could attest because yeah. you all technically are part-time there, but anytime I'm there, <laughs> you all are there. Always. Um, we've, got, we've got new jazz going in every week. We've got new uh, alternative music going in every week. We've got to try to keep it fresh. We're breaking music that a commercial radio station will burn out probably two months down the road. So if you tune into KFSR, you're going to be hearing music that nobody's playing yet, right? And you won't get that burnout factor, you know? You mentioned Evening Eclectic. Talk mm -hmm. about what this show is. The show is, uh, you know, that's where you're going to get your alternative music, you know. Um, it goes all the way from deep indie stuff all the way to, like, say, an adult alternative, you know, where it's... It's the music you will not hear, you know. I mean, we can compare it to other radio stations in town that a lot of them that have already, you know, that don't even exist anymore. And they were playing the burned out alternative music, let's say. Um, but uh, you'll find fresh alternative music at night. Yeah. So let's say that I'm sitting home and I listen to KFSR and I've got a CD out. Yeah. How, what, I mean, how does that work? How, do you, how does the station get music? Um, magic. Yeah. It's pure magic. It just appears you know, on the boom. table. Boom. It's kind of like, you know, we've got, a, we've got a really nice operating system, and for some reason it finds it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, um, what we do is we get new music from record companies and just from individuals, you know, that are looking to get their music on the air. And uh, so record companies, independent record companies. And do you promote that? I mean, let's say I'm a jazz band. Sure. Or I, I, five friends and I, Put out a CD. It's a jazz CD, and sure. it sounds good. Should we send it to you, or absolutely, you know? And then send it to Julie Logan, and her and Brian actually host a, a show called the Local Show, and that's exactly what they do, right? They bring in artists that, you know, they're local musicians that, you know, sound they well, they're just local musicians. I don't want to say that think they sound good, right? Because that's just being mean. Um, I mean, these are quality musicians that we have here in Fresno in the area. And uh, they submit a CD, and uh, if it's, you know, good quality, we'll air that thing. We'll put it in rotation, absolutely. So what other shows? I mean, jazz, oh, talk about, I, I know you can't mention every single show that's on the air. Because, sure. you know, some DJs will say, hey, Mike, you didn't mention me. Yeah. But, I mean, talk about some of the other formats, other, other shows that are on there that people will find interesting. I mean, I know that, you know, we talked about First Lady Focus. Mm -hmm. You're on San Joaquin Spotlight. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Julie and Brian's show. You mm -hmm. mentioned Don's show. Mm -hmm. The other Don Fisher has Don a program. Fisher has a program. He's got a program. And you know what? The name escapes me. How neat is that? It's been a long, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's huh? been. Here, yeah. Um, uh, Don Fisher has a show. Um, it's more of the uh, Americana alternative. So it's really kind of interesting. We got a gentleman on Sundays who has a show called The Garden Party. And that's more of an Americana alternative as well. Um, we've got a gospel show I mentioned. We have a total, we, we call it AAA, but that, we have an ASI show that's skewed more toward, you know, the 18 plus demo. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a metal show on the weekends. Um, we've got an African show that comes on right before the high use show. Oh, geez. So are you looking for new shows or, I know we're running out of time this week, sure. but are you looking for new shows, or are you kind of, you know, this is the schedule and we're running with it? 
You know, um, if there's a good idea out there, we'll entertain it. Um, we've got some stuff on the burner uh, to probably integrate Fresno State's departments, let's say. Um, the ag department there is really taken off. We're uh, seeing, we're kind of courting the idea of possibly having a local ag show, you know, as a public service show. And I think that would kind of, you know, touch the ag community and um, assist Fresno State, you know, in that form or fashion where, you know, I mean, they're doing us a solid by, you know, letting us do what we do there. So I think it's very important to be open to work on programming that's more Fresno State oriented as well. So yeah, that's, no, nothing's in a box. You think, I mean, the community would, would want to listen to more Fresno State? I know there's a lot of Fresno State graduates. I'm a former Bulldog. Yeah. I know there's a lot of Fresno State graduates out there and Fresno State students. So you think people would listen if there's more Fresno State stuff? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, you, know, you, got, you get the pride of, you know, your alma mater. Um, and if it's a, uh, and you, know, you go through a litmus test, you know, to, you know, as far as the delivery, if somebody's going to host it well enough, you know that, right? Um, so I think if it's going to be quality, I think people would turn in, definitely, yeah. So why should people, you have the fun drive coming up, sure. early October, mm -hmm. why should people donate? I mean, right now, either on CMAC TV or in the car, someone's listening to the program and sure. saying, hey, I'm getting hit up by everybody for funding. What makes us unique? We are, we are... We've been around in the community, I think, you know, longer than any other radio station in town, next to KMJ, right? And I think that's good company to be in. Um, I think we're a quality product that you can invest in. And investing in us, you know, you hear that word investment a lot. You know, it's a, it's a catch word right now. But it's true because, I mean, we're delivering a quality product that you won't get anywhere else. And I think if you're going to, donate to somebody, why not donate to something that's homegrown, here Fresno, uh, touching, you know, the community like we are. And I think, you know, let's, even if it's going to be a tax write-off for you, but, you know, that, that's a gimme. But also, you're going to be, um, you're going to be, you know, giving something that's been touching the community for a long, long time and that we can continue doing that. We are almost out of time on the program. Lastly, when is the fun drive-in. How do people find out more information? October 3rd through the 18th, um, you can contact uh, you can contact at the contact us at the office at 278-2598. You can go online. Um, all the information is going to be there. Um, or tune in, man, and listen, and we'll bombard you there, man. <laughs> right? Mike, thank you so much for coming on the program. Earlier, I was going to say Mike Station. Mike it's Station. Mike Stevens with KFSR Station Manager. Thanks for coming on the program. Thank you, man. That's all for this edition of San Joaquin Spotlight. Thank you to the volunteer crew that made this and every production possible. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you to our friends at 90.7 FM KFSR Fresno, who we just heard from Mike Stevens about the fun drive coming up. Mike Good Station. luck. Mike Station. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to CMAC, AT&T, and Comcast for making this production possible on TV. I'm your host, Sevog Tatiosian. Next week, we'll be back with a new edition.